What's up guys, I'm Paul's Build, and today we're going to be continuing on with our creepy canyon and putting in the Microraptor. Now this is an animal I'm really excited about because it's just so cool. It's like a little exhibit animal and it's, but it's a dinosaur and it flies around and everything. Like they've really done a great job with the animations. So let's get into it. So the creepy canyon last time we built this whole canyon area and put in some nice trees and we have a... Oh, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Edmontosaurus seems to have escaped. Let's move you back in here. We just need to adjust this um, area so that the Edmontosauruses can't get out, but the guests can get in. I think it's probably going to be to do with the height. Because now we have a proper petting zoo. Look, you can go touch the Edmontosaurus. Or if you're feeling brave, go touch the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Like... Just look at him, completely unfazed. Doesn't even care there's a T-Rex walking next to him. That is spoiled. Spoiled generation, I guess. They're used to dinosaurs. Alright, let's move this down as well a little bit. I have to keep an eye on them. I hope they don't keep escaping. So what I was thinking of doing is putting something on the other side here. We've got quite a, a little boring area. Um, I'm just going to move these rocks back. And, uh, yeah. And we'll see what happens. Let's... I wanted to make a little, like, a little cove area, which would be nice, um, for the Microraptors to live in. And it's it's not going to be huge, it's just going to be a little add-on, which will just add a bit of character to the whole, whole area, really. Now my plan is to put a few of these Microraptor um, aviaries, mini aviaries, oh my god they're tiny. I'm going to plan to put a few of these in here and then have a large dome around. So, let me put, this might be way too big an area thinking about it. Um, I might just shrink this down a little bit. That's a bit better. So I'm going to take a few of these mini aviaries and I'm going to just dot them around because I want, I'm going to say four. And then I'm going to uh, place some paths around so they can just, guests can just have a little walk around. then I'm gonna make these okay so there's a there's a setting you can do to have them have there's either a modern set or a null set which removes all of the uh, the aviary bit the the netting and I think this is what we're gonna go with so I'm gonna put them all on null and have them be yeah we can set all this later Let's just do this for now. We'll have them all on... I'll tell you what, I'll, let's put them all on null now. And then I'm going to build out the actual aviary now. And then we can um, add them all in after. And then put a little bit of trees in, make it look nice.
And that looks uh, pretty horrible, but uh, I'm going to adjust all this later. Wow, the A is actually floating, so that's cool. Um, I'm going to adjust all this at the end. I think for now, let's get some animals in, and then I'm going to make the entrance look a bit cooler for the end. But I'm quite happy with the actual dome piece, or the aviary building. I think that looks quite cool. It's quite uh, towering. So the guests would walk in here, and there's just some very sparse trees. So let's actually make these into proper habitats. So let's get a male let's get a couple of males and a couple of females in each one look at them they're so cute just flying around right so we need to make this the right uh, conditions for them like an exhibit in planet zoo so first off with styling i think we can change the lighting and everything but i think i'm going to do all the lighting in a separate video later um, where we'll do all of them. So we've got, oh, we've got the food quality. Pretty fine where it is. Habitats, the temperature is not okay for them at the minute. Is it saying it's too cold? Or too hot? Ah, too hot. Oh, and we've, we've struck the right temperature. So let's go with that. Uh, the habitat, we've got the environment. So now let's go, we've got jungle, temperate, or scrubland, which is kind of like deserty. So I, th I think we're going to go for jungle for this one because it looks quite nice. We can get some tropical plants in here. I think it'll look pretty cool. It will blend into the tropical um, section of the, the park as well. And we can add in, ah, oh, this is like enrichment. We can add in an avian uh, house and an avian feeding tower. And I think they look pretty cool. Awesome. So we've got those in, and then if I just do the same to the others. Uh, I've actually found that they, they like the temperate more. That gives them 100%. So maybe if I change the jungle, do I have to change the... No. The temperature's different. Okay. Just a bit interesting. I don't know why they've put in other options if they're not happy in those. But we, we want them to be happy. So let's put in the temperate. And we'll put some temperate trees in here instead. Okay, now they're all at 100%, so they should be happy. Look at them, eating from the feeder. I wonder if I change the feeding quality, whether it changes what it looks like. I mean, it looks the same. I'm going to leave it as it is, because I think cheap is probably better. So we've got, uh, uh, how many is that? So in the four in each, there's 16. That's a lot, isn't it? Well, 16 is fine. <laughs> they got, you know, it's quite a big enclosure. So we've got uh, 16 of these little guys just flapping around. Oh, sleeping in there as well. Sleeping in the avian house. That's so cool. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, I love it. Okay. So now I'm going to build in some trees and kind of make this area look a bit more uh, nice. I might actually edit the terrain as well first. And uh, just make it look a bit more interesting. And then edit the terrain, put some rocks in, put some trees in. And I'll see you in a bit. One thing to note as well is that they've the devs have fixed the con edit terrain near um, path tool, so you can actually do stuff pretty close to it now. Same with water, I think. Yeah, it's not it's not gone all weird. Whereas before, we had to be like like 50 feet away from the actual path in order to place water. We can kind of put it wherever we want now, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, just a little note there.
I hope you liked this episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.